It's a legit holiday. And I'm back at Bucky's, and Gary is having his first Bucky's experience. Yeah, so come get lost with us in some Bucky's goodness. Let's go. In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Welcome back to Legit Holidays. A part of our celebration is recognizing the people in our community and around the world that do amazing work. And today we are going to be talking about and Make a Wish, which is an organization that grants game changing wishes to children with critical illnesses. They grant these life changing wishes for children to go through because they're already going through so much. For a wish kid, just the act of making their wish come true can give them the courage to comply with their medical treatments. And parents might finally feel some optimism. They hope to grant the wish of every eligible child. So make sure you guys check out the comments below where we'll have a link where you guys can donate directly and a link where you can check out how you can um, help make a Make-A-Wish child's dream come true in your local community. So let's get to the video. So this is my first time here, but if you want to see our actual video of us checking out this Bucky's in detail, look in that top right hand corner. So this is what Bucky looks like, everybody. Buckus. Oh, they got extra large ones. Fancy. Non-food related items. Check out the Bucky. Bucky's Bucky's. Check out in case you have non-human friends that are looking for something to eat. Check them out. Right, so this is the back of the store with all the sporting goods and all that fun stuff. Yes, it smells amazing. Alright, so here's the wall of chocolate covered pretzels. I'm talking on camera, but I'm not sure if I'm going to have to overlay this with audio, so there's Nancy. Again. This is why I feel like this place is the place to go for a road trip. Like, you can find just about anything. Yes. Except for a charge cord. Oh, check out all these candies, man. Holy moly. And these like old school candies, too. They got like cherry sour, saltwater taffy. My mom would be in heaven. Well, she is. So she also be in heaven twice, I guess. Uh, candy corns. 
mom would love Bucky's. Oh, wax bottles. I hated them as a kid, but it's just fascinating to see them here. Boston baked beans. Oh. I didn't like I those know, either. I don't know what those taste like, but... They're not very good. I like the candy blocks. Watermelon sours. All right, so they do have like salsas and jellies to check out if we get here. They're all seemingly house-made. They have like apple butter, blackberry, and then when we shoot over here, you have some different Carolina soups. Yeah, these are like salsas and soups, man. These are all salsas, I'm sorry. But they have like habanero pineapple. Avocado tomatillo. They got ghost pepper. Avocado tomatillo. Mm. And the five fire roasted peppers. And then if you're real brave. And then they got salt and pepper vinegar chips on top and a Cajun one. And this is if you're real brave. Ooh, extra hot. So they also have like sauces and seasonings. Some barbecue sauce. You want to try Bucky's steak seasoning? Uh, looks kind of orange. So we came over to a park that's about 15 minutes away from Bucky's because Bucky's does not actually have anywhere for people to like sit and eat outside of their car or if you have like an RV. So we needed a place where we could spread out, but we're gonna go down there and we're gonna go eat everything that we just got so stick around because we're gonna get some Bucky's on all right everybody here is the park we stopped at it's pretty close to Bucky's it's only about like two or three exits down nice little open green space found this nice little shaded area to film our eating review so we have gotten all of our food and now we're ready to dig in and we're gonna start with the fried chicken sandwich First glance, uh, it looks good, and it's got a sauce on it, but I'm not really sure what the sauce is. It does have pickles, and that's it. It's got the sauce, pickles, and chicken. So, cheers. So the sauce seems to be kind of like a mayonnaise-based sauce with like some ketchup to it. Not really barbecue, not really like a mustard. Doesn't have any spice or anything. But the fried chicken sandwich is actually, the chicken's fried nice and good the sauce is nice and the pickles are good and it's on a sweet bun so I would say if you are not into barbecue but you want something else this might be a good alternative it's not bad and it's fresh let's see what Gary thinks all right so our first sandwich the fried chicken sandwich it is $6.99 Nancy didn't say that uh, let's give it a try mm. yeah it's like a um Sort of like a Dijani mayonnaise on there. The fried chicken is definitely fried in house. It's not bad. It's better than those frozen chicken patties that you get a lot of times in the grocery stores. But I don't think it's as good as a house made sort of chicken sandwich. Not a bad option and it definitely would be a good alternative for the barbecue. So our next step is let's dive into some of them barbecue sandwiches. So the first barbecue sandwich we're gonna try is the sliced brisket sandwich. And it is loaded with a bunch of barbecue sauce and I have to say some very thick pieces of brisket. So I'm excited to try this because Bucky's does smoke their own barbecue. So mm -hmm, here we go. So yeah. Nice, thick brisket. It's It tastes amazing. It's got a little bit of fat to it. It's got that nice, beefy, meaty flavor to it. The barbecue sauce has a little bit of a kick afterwards, so I can feel a little bit of spice in the back of my throat. Giggity. And um, it's, a, it's on the sweeter side of sauces. I would say it's, it's not KFC Masterpiece because they do make their own barbecue sauce, but it is similar in the sweetness of it. So let's see what Gary thinks. All right, so this is the $7.99 sliced brisket. There is a chopped brisket, just so you know. Uh, and like Nancy said, they do make it in-house, so I'm excited for this one. So it's definitely a tomato-based barbecue sauce. It's got a little bit of spiciness in there with the jalapenos. Um, the brisket tastes good. Nice and like a smoky flavor, kind of rich. I really like that. 
So far the barbecue has been on point. I definitely like it. So let's take a try at one of the pork sandwiches. So next up we are going to try the pulled pork. And I have to say it looks like they put a lot of meat on the sandwich. It doesn't look like they just kind of just skimped on it. Um, the barbecue sauce looks like it's probably the same barbecue sauce, but it's a little bit more orange. But we're going to see. We're going to give it a go. Mm. So usually I'm more of a brisket fan. But this pulled pork is pretty banging. Um, I don't get a lot of the sauce. Doesn't seem like they put a lot of sauce on it like they did the brisket. But it's nice and fatty. It's got a lot of seasoning to it. And I have to say, it's pretty decent. Let's see what Gary thinks. Alright, so we're checking out the 749 pulled pork sandwich. That pork is nice and tender. Uh, like they said, not a lot of sauce on there. I'd actually like a little bit more for my preference. Um, same kind of sauce though, it's a little bit tomatoey. It's got a little bit of that jalapeno kick, so it's a little bit of spice on it, but not too much. Uh, overall, that's a really, really tasty pork sandwich. Um, in comparison to the brisket, the brisket seems a little bit tougher, so it's a little bit harder of a chew for the brisket, but still really good. The pork has like a great flavor though. So honestly, if I had to choose between the two, I think right now I'd choose the pork. So let's get on to our burrito selection. So next up, we are trying the chicken burrito. Now, they did have a beef burrito. They had a steak fajita. They had a veggie burrito. They also had chicken tacos. So they have several varieties. And in, in, in the morning time, they have breakfast burritos too. So we decided we were going to pick this up. And it's, it's, it's a big burrito, I have to say. This is along the lines of what Moe's kind of is. And... Uh, it's got some sauce. It looks like there's some corn, black beans. So, gonna dig in. For a barbecue restaurant, that's a banging chicken burrito. It's got a little bit of spice to it. It's got like a creamy sour cream salsa mix, which is like my favorite way to eat salsa, is to mix a little sour cream in it. Legit tip right there. They do have guacamole, sour cream, cheese, and jalapenos that you can buy as well to add to your tacos and fajitas. We got a little bit of sour cream, but I'm gonna have to say, I don't think this needs it. Let's see what Gary thinks about this burrito, because he really, really loves burritos. So I wanna know what he says. All right, the chicken burrito, which is $7.99, another not so badly priced thing. Let's give it a try. Wow. Chicken's really flavorful. The salsa is like a corn salsa with a little bit of sour cream like Nace was talking about. The chicken has a good good amount of flavor and so far there's a lot of chicken in that burrito unlike at some like gas stations or other places where you get burritos sometimes it's just a piece or two this has a ton of chicken in it it's super tasty the salsa has got a nice flavor to it nice fire roasted uh, tomatoes uh, the onions taste good in there and the rice has a little bit of the cilantro rice it seems like too overall i think that's a really tasty burrito that's one of the best things that we've tasted there. Not that the pork sandwich was really good too. That was really tasty as well. Kind of surprising to get that good of a burrito at a gas station. So we've got some other kind of items that we're going to go through and let's see what we got. All right, so the first thing that we're going to try are the beaver chips. Now these are different than the beaver nuggets. These are potato chips basically fried. They're $1.98 for a full bag. They're making it as we go and they were actually making some right when we got there. So super excited. Skip on the Lay's if you're on a road trip. Pick those up. Nicely salted, freshly fried, really, really tasty. Um, these are really good. These are probably some of the best potato chips I've had homemade in a very, very long time. Let's see what Nacy thinks. So I'm not gonna lie, last time 
when you guys see that video up above, uh, I did try these and these were amazing and I kept telling Gary like when we go you have to try them. So I'm glad to hear that he really likes them so cheers. Let's see if they continue to be good. Mm. I just love potatoes in general and these are good. Even when they're cold because they come out hot. These are delicious. And like Gary said, if you get anything at Bucky's, especially if you're like short on cash or something, these are a great snack and they're only $2. So next up, we're gonna try some beaver nuggets. Okay, so we're gonna start off our beaver nugget trial with the original beaver nugget. Now these are corn puffs. Not quite like a Cheeto, but if you've ever had like Pirate's Booty or something like that, that's along the lines of what a beaver nugget is. And these are like sweet, um, they're just like sweetened corn puffs is probably the best way to describe them. So. Here we go. It's a little bit of maple. Got that sweet, and then you got that nice soft um, puff underneath it and it's crunchy on top from the, the caramelized maple and I believe it's maple. And I have to say, if you are on a Bucky's road trip, this is definitely something to throw in your car for a snack on the road. Let's see what Gary thinks about beaver nuggets. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna try is the traditional beaver nuggets. Uh, I haven't had them before, so I'm super excited. I would say they're just like a corn pop, but like a little bit more mapley and a little bit more sweet. And I love corn pops. So this is definitely right up my alley. If you want like a quick snack that you can just put in your cup holders and munch on going down the road, this is a great option. Now let's see what Nacy thinks about the chocolate covered beaver nuggets. Next up on our beaver nugget trial is the chocolate covered beaver nuggets. Now these come in dark chocolate and milk chocolate. So we got the milk chocolate. It's good, but I'm not sure I like it. Something about the maple with the milk chocolate when they mix together, not quite as good as the original but they're not bad. Let's see what Gary's thinking about the chocolate covered ones because he was really excited about these. So we got the chocolate covered beaver nuggets next. One of the things I will say is they're already melting on my fingers so this might not be the best snack food for in cars uh, but let's give it a try. Not bad. You get kind of a crunchy chocolatey thing. It's really more chocolatey than anything else. I was really expecting more like of a kind of like that that beaver nugget taste in there. I think the chocolate kind of overwhelms it and it is fully dipped whereas on the bag it seems like it's only like half dipped. It's actually like a fully dipped beaver nugget. Giggity. Uh, it's not bad but I think I would stick with the traditional right now but I do have the white cheddars to check na out next so let's see what Nacy thinks about those. So the final but beaver nuggets is gonna be the white cheddar. And I have to say these are probably gonna be the closest to pirate booty, but let's see. That's pretty good. I have to say, I think I like this better than the puffy Cheetos. Uh, the white cheddar has a really good flavor and then it does have the texture and feel of what a puffy Cheeto is. Not quite as um, mushy and soft as Pirate Booty gets. It's kind of a mix between a Cheeto puff and a Pirate Booty in terms of texture. So if you're somebody who's looking for that in the middle texture, this may be the one for you. And again, great for the road, I would say. I could probably eat that whole bag just by myself. So let's see what Gary thinks about the cheddar. White cheddar, Bucky's Beaver Nuggets. So the next ones are the white cheddars. They are a little bit more fluffy than the traditional beaver nuggets. They just seem like more fluffy in my hand. Uh, and they're not the cool little U shapes. They're more kind of poppy. Mmm, damn, that's good though. The, the cheddar of that hits really good. 
with the puffiness of the, the, the beaver nugget, giving it kind of like a, it's like popcorn, but it's a lot lighter than popcorn. Um, but it tastes super, super good. Uh, honestly, if I had a choice between those and the regular beaver nuggets, it'd kind of be a toss up because they're both really good. But like Nancy said, those are really good snacks for the road. I mean, other than you'll get a little bit of white powder on your, uh, on your, on the, on, on your fingers and all that, but I think it might be worth it if you like that cheddar cheese feel a little bit more than just the standard beaver nuggets. So we've got one more thing to try, which is the teriyaki beef jerky, which totally escaped my mind a second ago, what you call beef jerky. I'm excited to try that one. Let's see what Nacy thinks. Okay, so last up on our test is going to be some beef jerky. As you guys see in the video, we have they have a full wall of beef jerky. So this time we decided to kind of keep it simple and we're going to try the teriyaki. Cheers. Okay, so in terms of jerky, it's definitely more on the drier side than moist side. So it is chewier. The flavor though, for the teriyaki at least, is definitely on point. A little bit of salt, a little bit of sweet. And again, they give you a pretty decent size for about nine, ten dollars And I have to say, it's not a bad choice. So if you like beef jerky and you like it to be a little bit more on the harder, uh, chewier side, then I will say give Bucky's jerky a try. I tend to like the more softer jerky, but this isn't a bad option. So let's see what Gary thinks about this beef jerky option. All right, I'm feeling it. We've ate a lot of stuff here, but uh, the last thing we're gonna try is this teriyaki beef jerky. Now, I like beef jerky, so let's give it a try. It's a dry beef jerky. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Man, it's dry, so it does take a lot of chewing to actually start getting that real good flavor. Then you get a big kick of that teriyaki, that soy, a little bit of salt. Wow, that's really good jerky, like really good jerky. We went to like the custom stores and got the jerkies and tried them. That would definitely be on par with those. If you like beef jerky, this is a place to stop. And like Nacy said, they have a bunch of different options. We kept it simple to the teriyaki just to give it a try. Uh, but they had a ton of things from jalapenos to like ghost peppers to everything. So definitely think about that when you're thinking about teriyaki. So we're gonna finish up what we're eating and we'll come and get you for our final thoughts. Bonus footage. All right, so I got the orange cream sickle. It's a Bucky's flavor. It's just uh, Bucky's, I guess, because it says it's made by Bucky's. So let's give it a try for our first taste. Oh, that's good, man. If you have ever ate those icicles when you were a kid that were melted and then you just like suck the syrupy goodness out of them, that is exactly what that tastes like. It tastes like one of those orange sort of icicles from back in the day. It's got like a sweet creaminess to it. The orange really kicks it up a notch. Man, that is a great soda. Don't get Coke, which they have tons. They have like Coke and Pepsi and all these other things on their, on their fountain drinks. Definitely go for one of those. Uh, the orange cream sickle is amazing. All right, now we'll come and get you for the last final thoughts. So what did you think about Bucky's? I liked it. Uh, for a first experience, it's a super big gas station. My recommendation though is if you're on a road trip, this is a great side attraction, but it might not be the best stop if you're in a hurry to get gas or something because the lines are ridiculous. The bathrooms are clean, but it will take you a while to get through there if you're trying to do anything but get, just get gas. Agreed. Um, it is always busy. Like I said, I had been to this Bucky's before the last time I was here in South Carolina and it was just as busy. So just keep in mind, have a little bit of patience because you're surrounded by people from all over and they don't have patience. So if you just want to have a chill time, eh, it's a little hectic in there, but just take your time, have some patience, take a look around. And like Gary said, don't stop there if you're in a hurry because it is gonna take you some time to kind of get through, wander through. Even if you're just trying to pick up a sandwich or trying to get a drink, it's gonna take you at least 10, 15 minutes to get in and get out. And sometimes even longer, especially if they're out of the barbecue sandwiches or whatever, and that's what you're going there for. Don't Just know they're made there, so they come in and out of stock throughout the day. Agreed. So if you guys have ever been to Bucky's, let us know in the comments below, what is it that you like to get when you're at Bucky's? So that's gonna wrap up this video for us. Yeah, don't forget to like 
like this video make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you get notified when we do at least three videos a week and we're gonna see you guys tomorrow because it's a legit holiday and we can't wait to celebrate with you so we'll see you guys tomorrow bye everybody bye so thanks guys for coming and hanging out with us today for legit holiday we'll be back tomorrow with a brand new episode for you guys to enjoy Make sure you guys check out the comments below so you guys can follow the links for all of the organizations that we're following this month. And uh, we will see you guys back here tomorrow. So make sure you guys like the video. Hit that subscribe button. And ring the notification bell. So you get notified when we do at least three videos a week. And we'll come get you in the next.